Wound Drainage – Everything You Should Know Wound Drainage 101 There are different types of wound drainage. The look and color of the fluid draining from your wound may be an indication of something bigger. Let's say you have an open wound. Do you see anything other than bright red blood draining from the site? When you see pale red drainage, or a mixture of blood, and a clear liquid, this could indicate serosanguinous drainage. This type of drainage isn't normally something that you need to worry about, but we're going to discuss it further in this video. If you see drainage of another color, it may indicate infection. Preparing yourself with the knowledge of the different looks and colors of wound drainage will help you figure out if and when you need to see a wound care doctor. In this video, we're going to talk to you about all types of wound drainage, including serosanguinous drainage. We'll let you know what each looks like and when to call a doctor if you see it. At the end, we'll introduce you to Wound Care OC, a wound care specialty office in Orange County, California. Drainage color and texture can vary. Here are some ways drainage might look. Thin, watery, thick, creamy, clear, pink, red, light red, bright red, dark red. Important information about blood. Plasma is yellow in color. It contains a mostly watery serum, plus fibrinogens. Fibrinogens are the proteins that help assist your body in its pursuit to clot blood. Clear serum is plasma that doesn't contain fibrinogens. Red blood cells are bright red. They help circulate oxygen from your lungs and bring it to the rest of your body. Red blood cells are the cells your body is mostly composed of. White blood cells help your body fight against infection. Platelets also assist in recovery. They rush to your arteries and veins when you get injured and then clump together in order to form a clot of blood. Clotting is incredibly important as it helps protect the wound by covering it in order to slow blood flow and prevent blood from leaking out of the wound. Normal Drainage Serosanguinous Drainage This type of drainage is thin, runny, and the consistency of water. In color, this type of drainage will usually be light red or pink, but, in some cases, it can also be clear. This type of drainage gets its appearance from the amount of clotted red blood that gets mixed with serum. Serosanguinous drainage may be the result of damaged capillaries. But what do we mean by damaged capillaries? First of all, capillaries are the smallest blood vessels in our bodies and are therefore easier to damage than other cells. When a wound is large in surface area, it's likely to produce serosanguinous drainage because when blood capillaries are close to the skin's surface those capillaries are prone and therefore more likely to be injured when dressings are changed or the wound is bumped. Serous drainage Serous drainage is also known as serum. It appears as a clear and thin liquid. This type of drainage is usually present when a wound has been in the healing process for a prolonged period and is still red and inflamed. Serous drainage should never be excessive. This could signal a flood of unhealthy bacteria to the wound. Abnormal wound drainage. When serum is clear or blood tinged, it's an indication that the wound is healing properly. Other types and colors of drainage aren't normal and indicate a serious complication that will require your immediate attention. Abnormal drainage types include sanguineous, hemorrhagic, purulent, seroprulent. If you've noticed any of these types of drainage, it's important to visit with a wound care specialist who will be able to determine why the wound is abnormal and what can be done to treat the complications. Sanguineous drainage. This type of wound drainage occurs in deeper wounds. That's because deeper wounds involve thick layers of skin and tissue. It's marked by blood that is thicker and redder than you'd expect. If it's been several days and red blood is still leaking from the wound, this may be a sign that the wound was further damaged in some way. It could be a matter of you being too active or of the wound not being properly dressed from the beginning. Hemorrhagic drainage. This occurs when sanguineous drainage flows from the wound without stopping or slowing down. This signals a hemorrhage, which occurs when there's damage to an artery or vein. If an artery was ruptured, you'll see bright red blood spurting from the wound. In the case of a ruptured vein, you'll see dark red blood that steadily trickles from the wound. You may be able to treat a wound with hemorrhagic drainage on your own if the wound is small or shallow. You'll simply apply pressure directly onto the wound using a clean cloth or bandage. Once you've gotten the bleeding under control, 
clean the wound, apply antibiotic cream, and cover it with a sterile bandage. In the case of a deeper wound with a large surface area, you'll probably need to see a wound care specialist. Your wound care doctor will let you know if the wound requires stitches or serious attention of another kind. Visit your local walk-in clinic or emergency room if bleeding can't be controlled. Purulent drainage. This type of drainage is very visibly wrong. It occurs when a milky substance is leaked from the wound. It may be yellow, gray, or even green. This type of thick drainage is known as purulent drainage, and it may be a good indication of infection. Purulent drainage gets its thickness from microorganisms and decaying bacteria that have entered the wound. Your white blood cells have attempted to penetrate the wound, but the bacteria won out. Another indicator of purulent drainage is a strong smell. If you feel this is what's happened to your wound, visit a wound care specialist as soon as you can. Serapurulent drainage. When serum is anything other than clear, it could be a sign of infection. This type of drainage is also milky in color and texture. It can occur when an infection is clearing up, but a doctor should still take a look to make sure healing is being done properly. Drainage type is important. When looking at drainage as an indicator that you should see a doctor, it's not only appearance that should be of concern. The amount of fluid leaking from the wound is also incredibly important. As an example, if your drainage is of the hemorrhagic type, you'll need immediate attention from a wound care specialist. So keep your eye on how much drainage is leaking. Another important thing to mention is that wounds with drainage that is purulent or serapurulent will always require medical attention. It doesn't matter how slowly the wound oozes. If you notice drainage of any type after surgery wound contact your wound care specialist. Home Remedies for Burn Wounds At home wound care is possible for most first degree and second degree burns, but third degree burns require a doctor's insight. Here are some at home remedies that may be useful Cool water. Run the wound through cool water for 10, 15 minutes at a time. Hint, don't use ice. Cool compress. This will reduce pain and swelling. Antibiotic ointment. Use Neosporin or Bacitracin to prevent infection by applying the ointment. Next, dress the wound with a sterile dressing like cling film. Aloe vera. This can be taken directly from the leaf of a plant or it could be store-bought. Aloe vera is anti-inflammatory and stops the growth of bacteria, thus preventing your wound from getting infected. Honey. Use honey on the wound topically. It is much the same properties as aloe vera, including anti-inflammatory and antibacterial properties. Use only on mild, superficial burns. There are also various old wives' tales floating around in the world of burn protection. These remedies not only don't work, they may be detrimental to your wound. Here are some cures to leave alone. Butter, toothpaste, oil, egg whites, ice. Visit Wound Care OC for all of your wound care needs. Dr. Ferry Banamod is a board-certified physician specializing in emergency medicine, wound care, and pain management. Our team will work with you to create an individualized treatment plan that meets your needs and unique conditions. Our clinic includes highly trained and experienced physicians, registered nurses, and certified medical staff who work together to provide you with the highest standards of wound care treatments.